Please join me in a toast to the 50th anniversary of China-Rwanda diplomatic relations, to the bright future of China-Rwanda friendly cooperation, to your health, happiness, and prosperity. Let me also propose a toast. Long live Rwanda and China friendship. The friendship between China and Rwanda is not an accidental cho choice, but the result of like-mindedness. We both maintain that all countries, big or small, strong or weak, are equal. We both cherish national sovereignty and independence and resolutely oppose any interferences in our internal affairs by any country or external forces. We both firmly believe the path and the system that suits our national conditions are the best. The people of our two countries share characteristics of being strong, unyielding, optimistic, hardworking, and kind-hearted. Those commonalities have brought about our profound friendship over the past 50 years and laid a solid foundation for further development of our relations in the years to come. At present, the China-Rwanda relations are at their best in history. In July 2018, President Xi Jinping paid a historic visit to Rwanda. During the very first visit by a Chinese head of state, the two sides signed 15 cooperation agreements in areas including e-commerce, infrastructure, and the talent training. The results of the visit have been successively translating to concrete actions and the tangible benefits, injecting strong momentum to the development of our, two, of our relations. Since 2018, the bilateral trade volume has increased at an amazing pace. In addition to traditional cooperation areas, the two countries have achieved remarkable results in cooperation in e-commerce, trade in high quality agricultural produce, as well as combating pandemic. Cross-border e-commerce has emerged as a new highlight of our practical cooperation. Rwanda's coffee beans are very popular on China's e-commerce platforms. Each kilo of beans sold in China can bring coffee farmers four more dollars than before. Rwanda has become the first African country to export dried chili to China. 50,000 tons of dried chili will be exported to China in the next five years, dozens of times than Rwanda's current export volume. More high quality agricultural produce from Rwanda are expected to meet China's giant market. You know, we have the biggest population of more than 1.4 billion people and more than 400 million middle income groups. China is becoming the biggest market right now. The Chinese government and enterprises helped more and more Rwandans get rich through remote technical training and the provision of agricultural machinery and the tools. China stands ready to strengthen bilateral medical cooperation, especially in combating COVID-19. Following the donation of 200,000 doses of vaccine in August of this year, the Chinese government 
provided additional 300,000 doses of vaccine to Rwanda, which just arrived in Chigali International Airport yesterday morning. Chinese companies are training Rwandan youth to master computer technology and e-commerce through online and offline methods. Last month, a memorandum of understanding to establish the Rwanda Huawei ICT Academy program was signed, which will enable Huawei to deliver its training and certification programs to universities of Rwanda. I know ICT is the pillar industry of Rwanda, and our cooperation in this area is just unfolding. Ladies and gentlemen, as President Xi Jinping pointed out, China-Rwanda friendship is an ep ep epitome of China-Africa friendship, the Baird and the Road Initiative, the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, the Global Development Initiative, and the Initiative on Partnership for Africa's Development represent important platforms. The eighth ministerial conference of FOCAC will convene in Dhaka, Senegal, late this month. Upholding the principles of sincerity, practical results, affinity, and good faith, China will strengthen cooperation with Rwanda for mutual benefit, win-win outcome, and common development. China will join hands with Rwanda to build a community with a shared future for the two countries and for China and Africa at large. In China, we are marching in confident strides toward the second centenary goal of building China into a great modern socialist country in all respects. Meanwhile, Rwanda is striving to realize Vision 2050. When addressing the opening ceremony of Second China-Africa Economic and Trade Expo in September this year, President Paul Kagame stated that Rwanda's firm intention is to deepen our relationship even further in the next half century of cooperation. I firmly believe that our two countries will strengthen the collaboration and the synergy between our national development strategies, further deepen practical cooperation for the benefits of the two peoples and compose a new chapter of friendship that goes beyond the thousands of hills and the rivers. I'm delighted to join you this morning as we mark this historical milestone in the excellent diplomatic relations that exist between the Republic of Rwanda and the People's Republic of China. As we celebrate half a century long of a dynamic relationship between our two countries, I would like to appreciate the government of China's multidimensional contribution to the development of my country in key sectors spanning from investment, infrastructure, ICT, mining, air transport, education and capacity building, health, trade, tourism, agriculture, defense and security, to name a few. Since November 12, 1971, and more particularly after the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi in Rwanda, we have worked hand in hand to strategically develop our political and socioeconomic ties. China currently ranks among the top largest investors in Rwanda, which has created thousands of jobs in different sectors. Supported by the increasing high level political interaction and exchanges, our bonds of relationship have flourished 
at all levels towards the fulfillment of the economic and trade commitments of the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, FOCAC, Beijing Summit, and the Consensus on China-Africa Summit on Solidarity Against COVID-19. I take this opportunity to reiterate my country's appreciation for the solidarity and support of the government and the people of China by donating 500,000 doses of Sinopharm COVID-19 vaccines. These vaccines have and will continue to greatly contribute to our shared ongoing fight against the COVID-19 pandemic. This celebration is a unique occasion to take stock of milestones recorded in the last 50 years. Building on the bond of friendship between our two countries and leaders marked by the presidential visits in 2017 and 2018, I wish to renew my country's readiness to continue working with you and your government to explore new ways to further deepen our relations and cooperation under existing bilateral and multilateral frameworks. It is worth recalling our commitments made at the eighth session of the Rwanda-China Joint Committee on Economic, Technical and Trade, virtually convened on 28th September 2020, which emphasized on deepening trade and investment in line with Rwanda's vision 2050 and China's Belt and Road Initiative. We look forward to working together towards the full implementation of the said commitments with a name to further strengthen and expand our long-standing dynamic partnership and achieve maximum benefits of a South-South cooperation. Your Excellency, distinguished guests, I would like to commend Ambassador Rao Hongwe and his team for the organization of this ceremony, despite the challenges resulting from the COVID-19 pandemic. I am glad to say that a series of other activities have been taking place both in China and Rwanda to celebrate this historical occasion. Before I conclude, let me also propose a toast. Long live Rwanda and China friendship. Mm -hmm.